welcome to Fast as Fuck Reviews, I'm Murray. I'm Jack. And today we're doing Run All Night. Go. Enemies with infinite ammo. No reloads. Liam Neeson isn't as badass as he is in his other roles in the past two years, making him look a bit more human. Some of the professionals in this film are shit at their job. Ed Harris as a gangster, way overdue. Liam Neeson is just stock, cliched Liam Neeson these days, just badass. There is a strong dynamic between the protagonist and the antagonist in this film. Standard mob film police are standard. The film acknowledges damage and realism within fights that you can't just get up after getting your face punched in instantly. Overall we thought this film was really good but we thought at the same time it was really cliched Neeson so we're giving it 6.8 out of 10. This is a two part episode which will be featuring Run All Night and Child 44. Cue clothes change. Hello everyone, welcome to Fast As Fuck Reviews, I'm Murray. I'm Jack. And today we're doing Child 44. Go! This film had a phenomenal cast. We're talking Tom Hardy, Joel Kinnaman and Gary Oldman. The accents were a bit all over the place. Only Tom Hardy really seemed to look like he was making any effort. The film really explored the Soviet culture after the Second World War. It was really exciting to watch. The ending was really anticlimax. Just... Uh... The film was given enough duration to explain the full story in this 90 minute world we were given a two and a half hour spectacle. The film was really oddly paced, going from slow to fast to slow. Just make up your mind. The choreography in this film was really gutter, brutal. It was brilliant. These fight scenes were fantastic, but there needed to be more of them. That was the problem. We both loved this film, so we're going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And as always, we'll see you next week.